what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be my spoiler free review for violent night violent night is coming to theaters i believe tonight i saw it this past tuesday just now gonna post my review today regarding the movie it is directed by tommy workola written by pat casey josh miller and it stars david harbour in the santa claus role now the movie is centered around a paramilitary group seizing the estate of a wealthy family on christmas eve santa claus who again is played by david harbour must answer the daughter's christmas wish and step in to save the day and christmas now i will start talking about this movie just to kick it off violent night just like halloween kills lives up to its title and it takes a page out of that film even further with the very memorable line that you will hear during the movie christmas dies tonight the movie is very violent. It is not a silent night at all. <laughs> it is very violent. Admittedly, this wasn't on my radar, and nor was I expecting to come out liking this movie. That's not to say that it isn't that it isn't that's not to say that it is a great movie it's just an enjoyable christmas movie that i can see joining my list of yearly rewatches because of the strengths that make it a decent enough film now don't expect it to give you anything substantial to grow attached to every character uh you're not you're probably most likely not going to care about our family when center on called the lighthouses who again are having money stolen from them by these mercenaries during the majority of the movie because they are pretty underwhelming but their daughter trudy who is played wonderfully by Leah or Leigh Brady is easily the most well-rounded and likable character. Thanks to her innocence and Brady's heartwarming portrayal of the character, Trudy is dealing with her parents' relationship drama and all she wants for Christmas is for them to make up. Violet Knight gives just enough details about Trudy prior to Santa's efforts to save her and her entire family from a bunch of criminals that I found her arc to be the most compelling aspect of this Die Hard meets Home Alone R-rated film. So I'm also sure that that's been stated by many other reviewers but it, it's true this is die hard meets home alone it's it's just the god honest truth hell this movie even managed to outdo the nail sequence in home alone with an even more over the top and gory display of creativity involving a nail i've already mentioned that the writing provides you with one note characters but you're also going to get cheesy one-liners multiple references to genitalia and some other humorous bits that i found to be quite hilarious while watching at least the real strengths of the writing come from santa's journey to believe in himself again and trudy's journey to help him stay on track where i would Storing her parents bond this is enough to make the movie something to grow invested in with the narrative it's portraying more so than you will grow invested in these people trying to harm this family on christmas eve night because the characters are pretty while funny they are not very likable the family itself is a depiction and kind of obviously i think it's trying to throw jabs at the elites of the country there are some bits of the dialogue and narrative wise that i thought was trying to kind of just come crashing down on the upper class and how they fail to help people beneath them and stuff like that there's stuff riddled in this movie with that but it doesn't it doesn't overstay its welcome and it's not something that is overly heavy-handed with messaging in any way so i'm glad that you at least have these two characters that have a great heartwarming bond throughout the journey to let you at least grow invested in that to make you care about the events that you're inspired in this movie so with trudy her her again being the heart and soul of the movie her survival is going to stick out to you the most her being someone in danger throughout the whole movie obviously she and herself grows into this homage to kevin McAllister in home alone towards the end when you see some of the things that she has on on her uh or in her repertoire for these criminals action sequences are pretty good especially when the home alone homages do come into play there's one particular instance with nails and bowling balls that it's just toying with your mind as a viewer and building up the anticipation to the bodily harm that you know is coming it's a fun sequence to witness especially with a large large crowd david harbour i would say shines as the sledgehammer wielding saint nick who has no problem busting kneecaps and killing members of the naughty list that are clearly in this mercenary group truthfully all of the performers were solid and made the family dynamics believable it's just that none of the characters were likable again i mentioned that earlier aside from santa trudy and trudy's parents maybe but like I said earlier, you probably won't care for anyone as much as you do for Santa and Trudy. The film's efforts to be sentimental do fall flat for me. There are several instances where this movie tries to be sentimental and go over the Christmas magic and kind of have this messaging for kids that I'm not going to be so confident that many kids will watch this movie. 
uh, unless they are preteens and teens themselves, because I don't see a lot of kids looking at this movie. It's just got too much raunchiness to it and too much over the top gore. And the dialogue is also very foul. But it's something that a lot of adults like myself will get a kick out of. And I could see it again joining a lot of people's yearly rewatch list when it comes to this time of the year. So the film's efforts to be sentimental, they again fall flat for me, but they were still heartwarming at certain moments it understands its strongest during the skull crashing madness that harbor brings to these criminals trying to harm trudy and her family so thankfully the pacing is not an issue and it delivers some very memorable sequence of carnage and christmas bloodshed my honest real total issue with the movie is how it really was just carnage a, a highlight reel of carnage for the most part santa claus going around killing a bunch of criminals this type of stuff is, I, I eat it up, but it's not, again, a movie I'm going to sit down and tell somebody, hey, you know what? This is a great movie. It's a fun comedy that serves its purpose and it accomplishes what it's set out to do. That's all it does. It's not something that is going to be anything that should be looked any like you shouldn't look too far deep into this movie because it's just very straightforward it's very dumb it's action-packed it's filled with some of the most ridiculous dialogue you probably hear all year also you'll probably laugh the most during this movie if you haven't laughed during most movies you've watched this year that were comedic this one certainly might get you to laugh out loud because there are bits of dialogue in here that are just downright belly aching i would say belly aching i think the most memorable line for me is bah humbug motherfucker <laughs> like lines like that the cheesiness of it all and the tongue-in-cheekness it's gonna it's gonna be it's something that a lot of audiences eat up i could see this movie being a box office hit and becoming a christmas classic but i don't want to say that it's a great movie because it's not it's just simply a fun time that's all it is and that's all it really needs to be uh david harbour again he's phenomenal in the role the acting is phenomenal from pr pretty much everyone involved the characters again they're just one note one dimensional you don't really care too much about the mystery or the crime the crime there that's unfolded as much as you will care about the heartwarming messaging for christmas that's being displayed or depicted between the character of santa and trudy which is again very heartwarming but you guys can let me know what you think about violent night when you get a chance to see it down in the comment section below let me know what you thought about some of the action sequences regarding david harbour and his uh, onslaught on these criminals especially this barn sequence that happens at the end that did feel very diehard let me know what you think about that all down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i will have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video